Yeah. Uh, okay. Welcome, Erin, to my Q and A. Um, before we start, uh, would you like to start um, telling everybody who's watching a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. Um, uh, for those that don't know, uh, I'm Aaron Jackson. Uh, I was on a television series back in the 90s called California Dreams, where I played Mark Winkle, um, uh, one of the band's lead singers. I played the keyboard on the show. And um, my cousin was Sly. And uh, I was the pretty much the all-American kid on the show. Uh, so it was, I mean, we all were kind of the all-American kids. Um, but I was the more of the, if, if, if we're going to stereotype a character, I was more of the, the bookworm, um, uh, nerdier, for lack of a better term, type character. Uh, been in the industry my entire life as an actor, uh, producer, and a director. So that's just a little, little bit of a backstory on me. I'm sure we've got some questions that you can ask that might fill in some of those other blanks. Um, okay. Um, basically, you played Mark Winkle. Is there any similarities between yourself and the character? Um, I mean, it's, it's a great question. I, I think uh, Ron Solomon, one of our writers, and Brett Dewey, um, I think when they, they started to get to know us a little bit more as, as people, I think they started to maybe write things maybe around maybe the way that we we were. Um, I, so I don't know that I, I, I don't know that I was a lot like Mark. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of similarities and a lot of, of, of paralleling that the two of us had. Um, you know, my character, uh, there was the one episode, uh, that Tara Reed was on with us, uh, the whole drinking and driving episode and, uh, the graduation speech and all that stuff. Um, anybody that knows me and knows anything about me personally knows that that's one of my biggest things in life is, is, uh, anti-drinking and driving anti-drugs. Uh, so I, I started a company years ago called dangerous curves. Um, and that company, basically started off as me going around the country, talking to middle schools, high schools, and young, young college students about the effects of drinking and driving. So with that said, um, I used to do a, a whole two hour presentation about the effects of drinking and driving. So it's a huge thing for me. So I think that was, you know, maybe a, a parallel um, that Mark and I had, um, even though my character did do kind of the, 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 the bad and the drinking and driving that, that had happened on the series. Um, so for me that, 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 yeah. So I don't know if that answered the question, maybe kind of in a roundabout way. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, I, I, I like to think that I'm a caring, giving person and Mark was very caring, very giving, never really had anything bad to say about anybody. Um, mm -hmm. always apologized if he did. So, yeah. And I think I, there's a lot of similarity there with me as well. So someone just asked me, um, did you do the actual singing or did somebody else sing? Yeah. Um, uh, Steve Terrell did my voice on the okay. show. Um, okay. There was a couple of times when we did some some live acoustic stuff. We just had our reunion show a couple of, uh, I guess it was two years ago, um, that I sang in. Um, and, and I had the same vocal range as what Steven did. He was a, 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 a much, much, much better singer than I could ever be. Um, I'm a really good lip singer, I'll be very honest. <laughs> very good at it. Um, and I can hit those notes, but nowhere near as good as he could. Um, and, and when it came down to it, uh, Kelly obviously sang and, and, and Jenny obviously sang and William obviously sang, but for myself, um, I did not. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Um, you know, that dating show that you were on, I we do need to find out what happened. Absolutely nothing. Be very honest with you. Um, uh, I went on, it was, it was buzz, you know, and it was, it was, a. uh, uh a publicity show to be quite honest with you and um i was it, it, at that time i was uh i was deep in a relationship at that time when i was on that show um so i i never saw that girl again i never talked to that girl again um i got i got paid to be on the show um and i got i won the tv at the end i got I had a white tv i remember that um and had a vcr built into it so it, um and i remember that you know i remember bringing that home and it was like the coolest thing to have this 13 inch white TV that had a VCR uh, attachment to it. So, um, but yeah, so that, that it was a fun game show. I'll tell you that um, I enjoyed doing it. It was, it was, uh, you know, um, and uh, I can't tell you how much crap I've gotten it since then. You know, mm -hmm. it's the number one questions that I get asked when I do something is, so tell me about Buzz. Mm. 
you know, those um, lives that you wish you could go, Ooh, can I take that one out? Yeah, you can. So. Yeah. Um, my other question is, are you still close to any of the cast members? And if, did you pull any pranks on each other while doing the show? Or? Um, so a twofold question. Um, are we still close? Yeah. Um, we, we still talk, uh, you know, birthdays and Christmas holidays, all that stuff. There's definitely, um, either emails, texts, or phone calls. Um, I, I, I speak to, to Jay Anthony just pretty much the same way that, that, uh, that most of our cast does just because of the time difference. Um, it's via text, um, WhatsApp or through, uh, through Facebook, you know, we do a lot through, through here. Uh, Kelly and I, Jenny and I, William and I, Michael and I, um, yeah. I mean, I, I talked to Michael on his birthday, uh, two, is it three weeks ago? Um, and I know that his his girl is just getting ready to be um, uh, to to give birth soon. Um, so all so yeah, I mean we're all still very in touch with each other. We all like each other's posts on Facebook. We all um, comment on each other's stuff. Um, we still get you, still give each other shit. Pardon my French. <laughs> um, pranks on sets. Um, you know, Michael and I had a really wonderful love hate relationship. You know, so um, and in in a wonderful way. But Michael and I were always just being stupid with each other. Um, William was a lot younger than us, and and, and still is a lot younger than us. Um, so he he kind of he fooled around, but nowhere near like like we did. And and the girls never did. You know, uh, Jenny and and Kelly and Diana were always very um, very professional, though they had fun with us and laughed with us. But I think Jay and 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 Michael and I were probably the biggest cut ups when it came down to it. You know, we did fool around. Uh, I can't tell you how many times. You know, um, uh, improving was happening on set. Um, a lot of that happened with Michael. You know, he would improv a lot of lines. You know, or you know, I would or Jay would. And directors and and writers would always kind of stomp their foot down on us and tell us, "No, nope, that's not what we've written. You're going to do it this way." Um, but I mean, we 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 piled around. We hung out. You know, we we were, you know, the, the relationship that we had on camera while we were filming, um, we had off camera. We hung out. We were friends. You know, we were. We were, and, and I would still like to say we're still a family. You know, um, when we did the reunion show two years ago, uh, we were in the studio working on some 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 vocals, and uh, there was a, a song playing, and I'll never forget it. I have the video. Um, Kelly and William just out of nowhere just started dancing, and it was this slow dance, and I, I filmed it just because that 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 was us. That was our family. That's what we did. You know, so um, and when we when we all got together. After we were at the studio that night, uh, we went to a restaurant that we all go to, uh, that we went to right across the street from NBC. And we would go there and just, we'd sit there for hours, uh, hours. And we would just, nothing about the show, nothing about being on television, just being silly and being, you know, having fun as a, as a cast. Um, so, yeah, so I, I would say that we're still um, close. I'm not as close with them, you know, because I'm not in LA, you know. So, I mean, I know, but that Michael and Kelly and William and Jenny get together regularly. I mean, regularly they're still doing it. And I, you know, I, I live vicariously through a lot of their posts as well, you know, and, and again, we're still family and friends. So yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, question about the show when like the last episode happened or whatever, mm -hmm. um, did you keep anything from the set? I, um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I look around my office and I see a lot of it. Um, <laughs> Am I going to show it? Probably not. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I have the original drum head from, from the show, the, the one that was on the front of the, um, I'll show it to you. My office is a mess. So please uh, be, be, be very aware of that and turn on some, <laughs> if you can see it. Um, but I have the original, um, I have the original drum. So when you're looking at it here, um, right there, mm -hmm. right there. So you see it there and then, that's it there. Wow. Um, so on TV, it looks a lot, uh, looks a lot prettier and a lot nicer, but when you're actually looking at it, all it is is really duct tape and with some stickers and some everything else on it. Um, and then, I mean, I still have, uh, so my, my cast picture, you know, oops, stuff's falling, um, that we all got from it. Um, so, and that was Peter Ingle, um, gave us that. Um, and then I still have, of the, the first four magazine covers. I know that this is such an awful angle. This is probably making <laughs> I sick. can see it perfectly. Yeah, so I, I have that there. Um, and then I think one of the coolest things that I have um, in my studio here is um, 
I have the original Sharky's menu. Um, and then I also have, uh, I would have to find it, but I also have um, the original, let me shut this light back off. The original um, Sharky's uh, shirt is buttoned down. So I, I have Sharky's and, and I think, honestly, Jay's probably gonna be mad when I say this, but I think I have Jay's as well. Uh-oh. Yeah, so. Sorry, Jay, if you're watching this. <laughs> no, um, you're not watching, Jay. You're sleeping right now. So it's, uh, you know, I know. He's in Australia right now. Now, how would you feel if there was ever a reboot? Would you do it? Um, does a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Facebook. I don't know how to cuss. Um, I, I mean, in, in a heartbeat. It, it, it's um, for no other reason than just to to be able to get back on set with with Michael and Kelly and Jay and William and, and Diana and um, Jenny and uh, and just kind of uh, relive I guess our glory days relive um, and have some fun you know um, we've all I think we've all aged very well and I'm not looking for a compliment there I think we all have have um, we've weathered the tide very well and. Uh, for those of you that, that, that saw it on Facebook, I did a whole Facebook live uh, during the show. And, you know, it was just the comments that came back that, that and everyone, when, when we saw a lot of our, our, our fellow actors that were on the show and castmates that, that were guest stars and some of our producers came out, like, that's what they said. They said, you guys, yeah, I, we aged because that's life. You know, that's that's the natural progression, isn't it? But um, we haven't aged and we still, we we're still able to get, um, still able to do our thing you know mm -hmm. so it was cool it was very cool so um do people recognize you on the streets after all these years um yeah i mean because of my my mug shots up in the post office but <laughs> no i mean, yes, yes and no i mean a, a die hard fan um yes people where where i live now a lot of them know that i'm in you know that i was in television and you know and 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 been in the movies that I've been in and so I think it's more if I'm going someplace and there's an appearance that's going to happen or we're doing you know uh you know comic cons or doing you know a, a, a you know a, a, a concert or something like that yeah we get I I get recognized a lot more that way um but being that I've got facial hair um I I, I our generation, the, the the thirty, the thirty-five to fifty-five, sometimes. I mean, I would say maybe once a week I get recognized. You know, when we were on the show, it was we couldn't go anywhere. You know, there there was no place that, especially in in L.A. and in, in Burbank and and all through California, that we could go where mm -hmm. someone didn't know us. Uh, we were also, you know. 19 20 21 22 and we we're you know probably looking to get recognized as well so i think that probably had some some of it you know as well i mean i used to um i just gave it to my daughter to my oldest daughter not too long ago because she wanted it but I, we used to have, i had a jean jacket that had mark right here um and then the nbc logo right here and then on the back of it had this big california dreams patch um so but my daughter just took that um so she wears that at college oh, cool yeah so I just got a, a few more questions. Cool. Then, um, um, do you have any projects in the works? I just had a feature that just uh, just came out a couple ooh, a couple months ago called Todd, um, which was a psychological thriller, uh, which was kind of the first for me to play um, on that side of it. You know, I was uh, I played a doctor um, that that uh, had a shed load of patients, and the, and my character was kind of the end of his of his ropes and the end of his career wanting to be a doctor um so he started not really giving the best advice to his to his clients um was having troubles at home um had a drinking problem i uh, used to hang out in a bar an awful lot um michael winslow played uh for those who didn't know michael he was in police academy he was also known as the sound man he was the one that does all that sounds he was in space balls um he, he's done quite a bit of of, of stuff um, so he was in it and then Hans and um, just an amazing, amazing cast that we worked with. Uh, but that came out. That's on Amazon. That's on uh, the platforms. You can get it. It's not on Netflix yet, but you can get it through Walmart. You can get it on Amazon Prime to purchase it. 
Um, I've got three other projects that I'm in the midst of working on. We're in the process of trying to get uh, a film called The Bar Mitzvah off the ground, which is a, uh, a coming of age comedy about a young, uh, almost 15 year old boy. It's gonna be Bar Mitzvahed. Um, and then I have uh, another, another psychological thriller um, and then we're making, we made a film a couple of years ago called Fighting a War of My Own, um, which was a short. And then we just mm -hmm. uh, gotten the full right, uh, excuse me, the full um, script version, the adaptation done for now for a full length feature. So we're doing that. Um, and then I got a handful of other projects that I'm producing as well. So, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then, you know, acting, uh, acting is, 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 it's in my blood and it's what I love. It's what, what I love more than anything um, is mm -hmm. to, to act. And, um, but, in the last 10 years, I've done a lot, a lot of producing, a lot of directing, and um, a lot of coaching and teaching. Um, I'm a high school teacher now. I teach, uh, I teach drama at a high school. Oh boy. Yeah, my daughter went to. They were they lost their drama teacher one year, uh, three years ago, and it was my daughter's senior year in high school, and she was an actress. And I wanted to make sure that she had um, an outlet uh, at school to be able to perform. Without a drama teacher, you can't perform. So the um, administration asked me if I'd be willing to take on the gig. And I took it on and I absolutely love it. I love to teach. So it's, um, so I, I get, so I'm getting the best of both worlds there. Yeah. But if you wasn't doing any of that, like directing, being a motivational speaker, actor, what would you have been doing? I'd be a plumber. For real? Yeah. I'd help everybody else flush their dreams down the toilet. <laughs> love um, that. No, I, I, you know, honestly, I, I, I can tell you, and I don't know that they're, um, I don't know that there was another another destiny for me. If if if, and I know that sounds so cliche to say, um, but I, I I don't think there's anything I could have been else I could have been doing. You know, I'm too much of a smart ass to work a nine to five real job, um, and I I I I'm too much of a boss to take direction from somebody else. Um, I'm too pig headed to 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 see somebody else's way around things. And I, these are just things that I know about myself. Um, so I, I think, I, I don't think there was any other path for me. You know, um, my father, uh, my best friend in the entire world, my daddy used to tell me when I was a kid that I could be anything I wanted to be. I could be a doctor. I could be a lawyer. I could be an Indian chief if I wanted to. And I remember telling my dad very young that why would I want to be just one of those when I can be all of them as an actor? Mm -hmm. So I did, you know, and I, I, I've had a blessing of a career, you know, uh, I, I, I've been. I mean, hell, I was on a on a network television show. You know, I mean, I I I got to travel the world and and meet fans and sign autographs and 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 I can't tell you how many times I've heard and and Jay and Michael will tell you the same thing and so with the rest of the cast. I can't tell you how many times we've heard that you you changed my life or you you brought me up. Everything that your character went through on that show, I did. You know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten through this. You know, your show did this. Um, we were just seven kids that were blessed to be on a show. And I don't think any one of us at that time knew the impact of what truly California dreams was to them. Um, I know what it meant to us. I know, I mean, I, I know what it meant to us and it was, it's a piece of our, of our lives and, and it's got this huge, huge place in our hearts for all of us, um, to be able to, be, to been a part of the show. Um, but then I think as the years have gone by, I think the impact that the show had on people was more wonderful to us than, than us actually having the experience because it was, it was the fans that truly made it such an amazing journey for us. I mean, I, I've ridden the wave, you know, the, the, the top of the wave of California dreams for 25 years, I mean, seven years ago, we did this, you know, and, and I still get, you know, I still have fan club and, and, and fan led letters and, and, you know, people that, that join my Facebook um, or, or that request to be on my Facebook, my Instagram, that that daily post stuff like, you know, about Mark or about what, and I'm like, it's amazing, you know? And I look at that, dude, I'm just Aaron, that's all I am. I'm Aaron, mm -hmm. I, I played Mark for, for a, a good stint, you know? And so it's one of those things that a lot of people, they'll be like, Mark, you know, when, when I'm when I do an appearance and I, I, I don't even really give them the time of day when someone calls me Mark because I'm not Mark. I'm Aaron. I played Mark. And so I, I think over the years, um, I've gotten a little bit cynical on stuff like that, you know, cause it's just like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person, you know, I'm not just that character. 
Um, so I love that you asked me some of those questions about what I would be doing if I didn't do that. And I would still act. I would. Um, hindsight's twenty twenty. I think I probably would have taken dreams a little bit more serious the whole time because we, you know, it wasn't, you know, back then, I mean, I call it what it was, but it was cheesy. It was cheesy television, you know, it was Saved by the Bell with seven kids in a garage band, you know, and we, we formulated this thing called the California Dreams and we played gigs and everything else. Um, it, was, it was an amazing journey. It was so, so amazing. And I wouldn't trade, uh, I wouldn't trade it for all the tea in China or all the, all, all the whatever. I mean, it, it's, so two more questions. Is there anything that you want to tell us that your fans don't know anything about you, like any hidden talents, anything? Um, I have an immense collection of, of Converse. I don't know if that's a talent. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have a, a, a ridiculous fetish, um, you know, with, with, with Converse. And I, that's, uh, I think, I think I posted maybe one or two pictures of that on Facebook at one point or another. I'm not really technologically savvy. So when it comes to a lot of that posting, I mess it up half the time. I put an angry face when I mean to put a heart. I'm like, hey, I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, you had a baby. Angry face. Um, oh, um, someone died. Angry face. Um, oh, you're, you fell in love. Angry face. Sorry. Um, but with that, um, that, I mean, that, that's something stupid about me. Um, I have two daughters that are my world. Um, I have a, a 21 year old daughter and a uh, almost 20 or 19. My oldest will almost be 21. Um, they're both in college, making me proud every second of every day. Um, they're my baby girls. I'll show you to them. I'll show you a picture of them. Let me grab it. Just bear with me. Here it comes. My baby girls. Aww. This is my youngest. Nope, over there. Backwards. This is, stop. There we go. This is my youngest, Aaliyah, and this is my oldest, Brianna. Um, and uh, Brianna is on her way to be a pharmacist, and my youngest is on her way to be a nurse practitioner. Um, so, in the medical field, you know, the closest thing to medical I'll ever come is is I played a doctor once on TV. It's about all that that I did. Um, so with that, I work in I work in a nursing home, so I know oh. how it's. How it is. Bless your heart. If you have any adult diapers, send them my way. I might need them soon. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. just send me your address and I'll send it to you for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I'm good. I don't need the diapers just yet. Soon. <laughs> um, if Michael's watching, he needs them because he's older. Um, yeah. So last question. Sure. Where can people find you on social media? Um, they, the official Aaron Jackson on Instagram. You can always find me there. Um, I'm, I haven't gone. Apparently, this is a thing. Uh, there's a thing called a check mark. No idea what the hell that is. Um, so apparently, they uh, they they want me to get a check a check mark. So I've got to get fans and get people to to follow me on Instagram. So the official Aaron Jackson on Instagram. Um, you'll notice that everything that I post on Instagram is always uplifting. I don't believe in negativity. Um, I don't talk politics. I don't talk religion. Um, I talk uh, positivity. You know, life is. We're blessed. And in this crazy time right now of COVID and everything else, like it, it, we have to harbor love and, and push negativity away. So for me, that's, um, that's a huge thing for me. So I, I, I post about my daughters. That's really, you know, um, a lot of posting about my kid, my kids, excuse me. And then, um, but you can follow me on Facebook. Um, and it's, uh, I, I'm again, I, I, I push, I, I, I accept anyone that, that, that wants to be my friend until they do something stupid. And if they do something I, stupid, I appreciate I, you, you, you adding me back. Well, you're very welcome. Um, and, and if someone, you know, if someone puts something up there and if they're, you know, running, running in a direction that I don't really want my, my, my family or my friends or my fans to see, I, I get them off my page. Um, but Instagram, that's the best way. My website, there's a lot of information on my website, which is just the AaronJackson.com. You can check it out. Um, uh, I, I do private acting teaching, uh, coaching. Um, so I do that as well. Um, so that information is on my website. If there's any aspiring actors out there that, that are looking for some training, um, I do that. I do group classes. I do private uh, individual one-on-ones via the internet. Um, and then I've got a studio here in my home um, that, 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 uh, a handful of people get to, to, to come and experience that experience of being, um, you know, working one-on-one -on -one that way. But I, I encourage uh, your friends of your friends and the friends of their friends and their friends, plus their friends and friends to, to find me on, on Instagram and do that. I, I think I've got like 
I only have like four or five thousand followers. And, um, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make sure I post your link in the in the group and. Well, please be getting a lot of fouls. Well, please do. Um, you know, and it's 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 something that that I, I'm a firm believer. Um, and anybody that truly knows me that that knows that my passion and my love comes from being the best person that I can be and um, inspiring and hopefully helping other people to become the best people that they can be and taking negative energy and turning a negative into a positive and really being, you know, um, just being a role model and a, and a leader in any situation. And I think we're all leaders and we're all role models. And I think if we all kind of come, come to terms with that and recognize that we can all do better and make a better place, you know, and I'm not talking global warming and I'm not talking, um, you know, uh, energy saving. I'm talking just people, just put down your guard and, and just love and care and, and the stuff that's going on in, in Afghanistan and the stuff that's going on around the world and people hating on people and, and, you know, um, uh, people being killed and murdered over stupid stuff, you know, and, and um, all lives matter. So let's rally together and just be, be a, be human and care, you know? So, um, but that's, that's kind of my platform there. Um, okay. I don't know if you have any more questions. Um, I can show you my, my fun converse that I have on today. These are great. Ooh, These I are love those. favorite pairs. I love along. those. Bye -bye. Um, basically that is all the questions that I have. Um, I might have missed a couple, but that's okay. We got the majority ones out. Okay. So, Aaron, thank you for joining me. We should do this again. Let's um, do it. Thank you to so, everybody that, that that watches this. Hope you had an, uh, a good time. Please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I will. I, um, I'm going to download this, and I'm going to upload it to the YouTube channel. So that way I'll give you the link, and then once um, that's there, you can share with your uh, – peeps on your page whatever and uh and then i'm even going to put the the group name in the description so we can get more uh, people in the group awesome well hopefully you'll be able to get michael and kelly and jay and william and uh, uh did i say jenny and diana yeah. and, um hopefully you can get brent and and you know the, the whole the whole original you know the original california dreams cast as well as as uh when diana and i took over um those roles so maybe one day I will get to finally meet you because I know they're going to be doing some kind of uh, con well, or something. We, we, we've all, um, a handful of us, Jay Anthony and I believe Michael and Jenny and Kelly, um, we've all signed on to do some Comic Cons coming up. Um, I'm doing one in a couple of weeks in Ocala um, in, in September. Okay. Then um, we're doing one in Jacksonville in 22. And then I know there's a couple in Europe that, that they're trying to get us on to. And then there's the California one. Um, so we're all downtown Julie Brown on that. Um, William is now a doctor. So he's um, ridiculously busy when it, to, to, in his private practice that he does. Um, so he's going to try to make some of the local ones. And then um, there's, you know, there's always a push to get a reboot done. So um, if there's fans out there that want to see a reboot of Dreams, put it out there on social media, get people to, you know, to, to keep pushing for it and um you know hit up hit up some of our producers and tell them make this happen well come to the rhode island comic con well if, because that's in my state well if somebody can get us uh if, if there's a promoter out there that's watching this that would like to bring us there um don't hesitate to reach out to our teams we all have them um and they're all pretty much on our website on how to get in touch with us mm -hmm. um and and you know we're we're all I, I can speak for myself. If there if there is a will, there's a way. And if someone would like me to come in and sign some autographs or to, to shake a hand or kiss a baby or whatever it is, um, I am I'm more than willing to do it. I'm sure we can make it happen. All right. I appreciate your time again, Aaron, and I appreciate you being my friend and being part of the the California Dreams group that I have. Um, well, thank you for putting and, that group together. We appreciate it. We really do. And and to and all then, and then um, myself and my friend and my friend Lori, who does the uh, podcast together, we can try to get you, Mike, Jay, and whoever else that we can get. We'd love that. If I mean, if you want to pull an episode out and, and watch an episode, um, or, or talk about a specific episode mm -hmm. and hear some inside stories of maybe what happened on that episode or something along those lines, I'd have to rewatch the episodes um, <laughs> to remember. Um, there's only a couple that I, that I can call verbatim. I know every show that we did, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, there's only a handful that I can actually remember. We'll always have Aspen, um, obviously just because it was, it was one of my, my shows and then the, 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 the drinking and driving show. And then the last gig, 
you know, our final show is, was probably the, you know, that, that was the deal sealer for all of us. You know? The other day I ended up finding the California dreams cassette, the, okay. the original, the originals. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's funny. I I've got the, I've got the DVDs. I have, I have the original VHS tapes that we used to get from the, from the studio. I have all of the the recordings of the songs still on on cassettes. I have all that stuff. I'm, you know, it, it was one of those things that why well, throw it away? You know, it's a part of my life. And for my daughters, that when I die, you know, which is going to happen sooner than later, I'm sure. Um, it's stuff that they're going to look at and go, Daddy. You know, as as either they're going to be looking up or looking down at me, depends on what day of the week it is, I guess. Um, but they're going to be looking at me going, Daddy, why'd you keep this stuff? Why didn't you just throw this away? Now we got to throw this shit away. Um, but, um, but you know, again, I, I've been blessed. And if if it wasn't for the fans, and if it wasn't for the public that 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 kept our show where they did, we wouldn't have done season three, four, and five when we did. Um, so it, it's been a blessing, and it's been uh, truly an honor, to, you know, for 25 years to 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 ride this wave that I've been on um, from California Dreams. Yes. So, so check me out on Instagram, the official Aaron Jackson on Instagram. Um, you can go to my Facebook page or to my website at theaaronjackson.com. My Facebook is just my name. It's got a picture of me in black and white. I think I'm holding a necklace in my hand. Holding this one, so, whatever it is. I ride my bike a lot, so I do a lot of posting about me riding my bike. And it's not a Harley. It's a pedal bike. <laughs> but I ride my bike. So, but, All right, my friends. Be safe, courteous. Remember, hugs, not drugs. Nice meeting you and nice talking to you. And let's do this again. Let's do it, my friend. Be safe. Bye-bye. Right.